it's official. Manchester United have sacked Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Two and a half to three years at the job. He's finally, finally gone. The sentiment has drawn out. Manchester United have pulled the plug on Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. For me, a year and a half too late. Um, there were so many instances where he should have been sacked. <laughs> you know, Euro play final. After certain heavy defeats. After certain embarrassing moments. After certain failures, bottom jobs. He should have been sacked a long, long time ago. But Man United decided to keep him. Manchester United decided to say, you know what? We don't have a plan, we don't have a direction, so we're going to keep him. We're going to keep him and keep him and keep him. And eventually, <laughs> it's taken its toll. The embarrassment has taken its toll. Maybe the stock shares, the share prices, I don't know. Investment. People, the ones who are making money, said, you know what? We can't do this. We can't let this happen. But you know what, mate? It has happened. And after an embarrassing result against Watford, it's taken Man United to sack, finally, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. For me, there's no kind of joy in wanting him to get sacked, but there's a feeling of elation. There's a feeling of... I feel relieved. I absolutely feel relieved. I feel a sense of... United can finally win trophies in terms of if they go get the right appointment, and I mean the right appointment, in Zidane, they can do something. They can attempt to do something because Manchester United are missing an elite mentality. They're missing... They're missing, you know... The, the the right to win the missing that urge to win the fire in that belly to say you know what we are manchester united we're missing that and that only comes from the people above the mentality from the manager to then go up to the to the owners and demand a certain level of success did oligan social demand that low style of play that's the biggest biggest failure of oligan social he never imprinted a style of play he never imprinted a philosophy that he can say to the top guys right when i buy players i want them to fit my style of play he never did that and that was a problem with oleg and the social he never did that he freestyled it he just went along with it vibes fc you know what let's just get on with it and we'll get to the problem later well, that don't happen. And at the top level, on the social, you got found out. I'm sorry, you got found out. Um, listen, like I said to you, just, there was no pride in there, but the tenure was a failure. Your opening final should have been gone, but the club rewarded him with a bumper three-year contract with an extension of a year deal. Absolutely baffling it really really is baffling because how can you even dare to think that he deserves a three-year contract what did he deserve you know but then the club they're not they're not understanding they're apparently saying mike feel and kira mckenna will stay as things stand and michael carrick asked this morning to both help the back groups that they should all go this is one failed entity this is one failed group all of them should be gone get them all out Man United are just playing cheap again have you not learned from your problems it just wasn't only going to social it was also the backroom staff they failed alongside with him i didn't help him they almost lambs to the slaughter they failed under Mourinho. they failed under Mourinho. listen we have to enjoy the feeling right now we have to enjoy it because it's been dark 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 
for so many years. It has been dark. We haven't tasted success. We haven't tasted this. And it's been very, very much miserable, depressed. I've been depressed watching United. I literally have been depressed watching Manchester United. How can I go to Old Trafford and be watching people use it as a training ground? Liverpool, the worst defeat I've ever seen. I'm glad I wasn't there for the 6-1 Tottenham in the lockdown. But I was there for the 6-1 Man City and it didn't feel like that. The 5-0 and it still wasn't sad. They still gave him time. This is why I don't feel any sort of sentiment. It made me take it out all on Oli. But then I went to the Glazer protest and nobody wanted to come. Nobody said, you know. People said to me, you know. I just feel like, what do the Man United fans want? Where are we trying to go? Does anyone know where to want to go? Where do we want to go as a Man United fan base? I want to know, people. Where do Manchester United want to go? Listen, people, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is sacked. He's about to go back into the mist. He's taking a break, and rightfully so. I don't think he will ever get a big job again. It was a, it was a, it was an absolute lottery. This is my United job, an absolute lottery. And now for me, it's time to back your bags. It is. Time to pack your bags and we can look forward to the future. Sancho, Dolly van der Beek can finally, finally reap the rewards of his patience, of his hard work, of his endeavour. I'm just so happy, man. We got a lot, a lot of good players. Rashford, Bruno, Sancho, Pogba. Varane, this is a team that is destined to win, that will win. I am sure we will win again, but that's why we have to change the manager. The Glazers is a bigger battle, it still glazes out, but I don't think people are ready to go and protest against the Glazers. They're not, they want to protest against the Glazers because it was a Super League, because it was for their interest that football wasn't going to be a competing again. But Manchester United now have a reason to compete again now if they go and get a proper manager. My first bet would be Zidane. I don't know about you guys, but it would be Zidane. But we see, we hope, we hope. But it's official. Manchester United have sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and I am happy. And no one can take that happiness away from me. Because I've been suffering for two years and I believe Man United should be winning. People, like the video, subscribe to Sai TV. Let me know in the comments. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. Take care. Bye bye.